Now, you can control your electrical loads and monitor sensors by sending a message from any cell phone using the Arduino and GSM SIM 800L module. You might be wondering if anyone can control loads or monitor sensors by sending a message from any cell phone, then anyone would misuse it. Well, that's not the case. I have designed this system with careful consideration to control any load or request the value of a sensor. You need to enter a password and you know without a password, nobody would be able to control anything or request the sensor value and the most amazing thing about this project is that you can send control and request commands from any cell phone and my design system will replay back to you on that same number when Arduino receives a message it extracts the sender's cell number and replies back to that number isn't it amazing of course it is now if your SMS package runs out or your cell phone is standoff or if it gets lost there is no need to worry you can use any one's cell phone to control your loads and monitor sensors. Let me practically demonstrate it for you. Since this is just a prototype model and a beginner's level project, so I have tried my level best to make it as simple as possible. So that's why for the demonstration purposes, I'm using a potentiometer as a sensor and 110 or 220 volt AC bulb is the load. But if you want, you can use any other analog or digital sensor and the same thing applies to the bulb. Anyway, I have powered up the Arduino board and I have also connected the 220 volt AC supply when the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected never touch the relay contacts it is important to note that when working with mains voltage proper safety precautions should always be taken and it is advisable to consult a relevant electrical codes and standards I'm sure you might have noticed that I'm using a single 12 volt power supply and this is because my design Arduino Nano development board has this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply which is more than enough to power up the Arduino SM 800L module and all the other electronics. I've seen many people complaining about the GSM 800L module stating that it doesn't connect to the network or keeps restarting. Such issues are often related to the power supply. So if you use the same 5 volt and 3 amps power supply, you shouldn't face any problems. If you don't want to make such a development board, then you can also make this type of the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. As you can see, the SIM 800 L module is connected to the GSM network. Now let's try turning this bulb on and off. The message simply consists of the password. This password can consist of letters, numbers and special characters, then the word relay and finally the command on or off. You might have noticed I used percentage sign. I'm doing this because when the Arduino receives this message, then the Arduino can easily split this message using percent sign as the delimiter. Anyway, the message is ready and I'm going to send it to the Arduino. As you can see, the bulb has turned on and now Arduino will send me a feedback message. I have received the feedback message. No matter which number you use to send the message, you will receive the feedback on that same number. This feature is incredibly amazing and I'm sure you will also like it. Let's turn off the bulb. This time in the message, I have written off. As you can see, the bulb has turned off and now I will receive a feedback message. Now, let's check the value of the sensor. This time, I have only written the password and the command request. The message format remains exactly the same. Let's send this message. As you can see, I received the sensor value. Now, I will rotate the knob of the potentiometer slightly to change the value. Let's request the sensor value again. This time, you can see I have received a different value. In this way, you can monitor the sensor at any time and from any cell number, provided you remember the password and message format. And not just that, in this project, I have also added an automatic feature. When the sensor value crosses the threshold value, I receive a message saying value exceeded. So let's increase the value and see if we receive the message. This is amazing. In one video, you will learn all these things. So without any further delay, let's get started.
The SIM 800L is a GSM GPRS module that enables communication over the GSM network. It is commonly used in embedded systems and IoT Internet of Things based projects for applications such as sending SMS messages, making phone calls, and connecting to the internet over GPRS. SIM 800L module supports quad band GSM GPRS networks, which means it will work almost anywhere in the world. The SIM card holder or start is on the bottom side. Direction for inserting the SIM card is engraved. Just make sure the notch is pointing upwards when inserting the SIM. On my side, I have successfully tested using Uphone and Zong SIM cards and I'm sure it would also work with Chase and Telenor. This is the UFL connector for connecting other antennas other than the helical antenna connected to the pin number one. In my case, I have connected both the antennas. This is the network status indicator LED. So when you power up the SIM 800L module, initially it blinks faster. So you will need to wait for a few seconds. When it's connected to the network, then it starts to blink at a slower rate. But if for any reason it blinks at a faster rate, then remove the SIM card and insert it again and also check your power supply. I already explained it during the practical demonstration. It is a total of 12 pins and the big thing is there is no labeling. So you will have to remember all these pins by heart or you can download this pin out diagram from my article available on electronicclinic.com. Net pin is where you can solder the helical antenna that comes with the module. VCC pin is the power supply pin connected to a stable power source within the specified voltage range typically 3.4 to 4.4 volt. This provides the necessary operating power for the module. The RST pin is used to reset the SIM 800L module. When this pin is pulled low or connected to a logic low signal for at least 100 milliseconds, it triggers a hard reset restarting the module. RXT is the pin used for receiving data by the SIM 800L module connected to the TX pin of your microcontroller or other communication device. TXT is the pin used for transmitting data from the SIM 800L module connected to the RX pin of your microcontroller or other communication device. Ground is the ground reference pin. Connect this pin to the ground of your system to establish a common ground reference. The speaker minus and speaker plus pins are part of the audio interface and are used for connecting the negative and positive terminals of an external 8 ohm speaker. The mic minus and mic plus pins are used to connect the negative and positive terminals of an external microphone. DTR pin controls the sleep mode. Pulling it high causes the module to enter sleep mode disabling serial communication. Pulling it low for approximately 50 milliseconds will wake up the module. Ring pin is the ring indicator. This is basically the interrupt out pin from the module. It is by default high and can be configured to go low when a call or SMS is received. If you want to know more about its technique, specifications and other features then read my article i have added a link in the description now let's go ahead and take a look at the wiring connect the vcc and ground pins to the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply connect the txt pin to the arduino d9 and connect the rxt pin to the arduino d10 out of these four relays i'm using only one relay it's a 5 volt spdt type relay and it's connected to the arduino digital pin d4 make sure you connect the relay module vcc and ground pins to the 5 volt power supply supply if in case you're using an external one channel or multiple channels relay module. Connect the leftmost and rightmost legs of the potentiometer to the 5 volt and ground. Connect the middle leg of the potentiometer to the Arduino analog pin A0. You can follow this circuit diagram. You can see the VN and ground wires in the circuit diagram. Simply connect these wires to a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. You can follow this circuit diagram if you want to make your own 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. You will need to download this program from our website electronic clinic dot com and upload it into your Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno Alpha Minima board. Anyway, for the line by line explanation, you can read my article. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Arduino and SIM 800L GSM GPRS module connection. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.